Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are going to be watching all the Scream movies. Get your big girl panties on and get ready to scream. Hello? Yes? Who is this? Mm, who are you trying to reach? What, what number, number is this? What, what number, number are you trying, trying to reach? I don't know. Well, well I, I think, think you have the wrong, wrong number. number. Listen, listen asshole. asshole! No, you, you listen, listen, you little bitch! bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a like fish, fish, understand? I've only watched this movie twice, guys. <laughs> Who's there? I'm calling the police! <laughs> I don't know why it took her so long to call the police. As soon as she was like, I'm done with this little flirting game, that should have been her calling the police. I swear! He's big and he plays football and he'll and kick the shit out of you! Are you scared? I'm shaking, shaking my, my boots. <laughs> Ghostface is kind of very funny. I have to admit, he is anything but a comedic genius. That is what he is throughout it, the, all the movies. The mask, he stalked the babysitters. I don't know. Come, on. Come on, yes you yes, do. do. What's, What's his, his name? name? Steve's, Steve's counting, counting on you. On He's kind of sexy. <laughs> I'm just saying, his inflection is kind of good. No! But you're doing so well. We can't stop now. I'm kind of really good at this. Oh! That is the funniest shot I've ever seen. I know it's supposed to be scary, spooky, but the way he is hunched over and running like that, so hunched over, is the funniest shot ever. Ah! How dare they do that? How dare they let the whole shot rest on him stabbing her? because it was the slowest, most gushiest stab I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> that shot is beautiful. It's very simple. It's just her being dragged away, but ah, uh, it's a perfect horror shot ever. I love it so much. I feel like Billy would absolutely love MGK. Like I feel like he would love a Machine Gun Kelly and don't take that as a compliment at all. I think Sydney and Billy were the original <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, except Sydney was smart and actually killed Billy, whereas Megan Fox hasn't made that decision yet. She hasn't made the right decision. She's being very dumb lately. Very dumb keeping that man alive. I feel like if anything, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox role play as Sydney and Billy um in the bedroom. My God. I have to say I love Ski in this role. Like I think he does it really well, but I am not surprised that he ended up playing Jughead's dad on Riverdale. I have no surprise there in my heart. You know how people were like, oh my God, that's the same guy. No, he's corny as hell. Of course that's the same guy. <laughs> Dude, if there's one thing about Sydney Prescott, she's gonna kick some ghost face ass. Damn! That's what I love about her. Use your legs. She is one of the very few people in horror movies that uses her legs. Good on her. Good. I mean, honestly, Sydney, such, like, she is the main bitch. Such a great character. From the very beginning, not only did she use epic force while beating that bitch up, she also was very smart. She, as soon as she saw that cell phone, she was like, what the fuck is that? When I say hurry, please interpret that as move your fat tub of lard ass now! I know she's mean as fuck, and that whole sentence was very, very offensive. But I wouldn't mind if she yelled at me. I think Gail Weathers is a true crime YouTuber of 1996. She was the original true crime YouTuber exploiting the deaths and active crimes of society since 1990s, dude. She was writing books, making movies, doing business, big money moves. And she was doing it before anyone else. She was doing it before anyone else. Just crazy. You know that? I didn't do it. You know what I think about that? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Hey, watch her, Larry. Hey, watch the hand. Hey, you know what you're dealing with here? Yeah, she is just a menace, but she's my menace. She might be a full-on bitch, little piece of shit, but she's mine. Gail Weathers, I love you. Yo, 
this scene right here like i don't know what the fuck sydney is on each day like i don't know what the fuck is in her coffee but she is just zooming all the time she's about to do an epic slide like she's a superhero you would never catch me putting both hands on the bathroom floor like that never look at this damn full on slide bitch i just like it that ghost face looks so scared all the time like he's just he's just a constant state of this like isn't that so funny like how am I supposed to be scared of you? You're the scared one, not me. Duh. What would be your motive? Why are they so sexual about everything? They literally want to fuck everyone. Millennium. Hmm. Millennium, I like that. That's good. They literally look like they're about to have a threesome. If you watch the movie a couple of times, you realize that in the movie store, literally Stu and Billy just completely out themselves. Like they don't even try to hide it. Like it's not even a thing. Like we can tell. Is that you, Randy? Why does everyone think it's Randy? At every single point they see a costume, they go, Is that you, Randy? Randy, you're such a suspect. Oh, you want to play psycho killer? Can, Can I, I be, be the, the helpless, helpless victim? victim? No, no, please, please don't, don't kill, kill me, me, Mr. Ghostface. Ghostface. I, I want to be, be in the sequel. sequel. It's gotta be so embarrassing to be Ghostface because he just keeps getting beat the fuck up. Like, look at him. He's getting beat the fuck up. How embarrassing is that? You're supposed to be this scary killer, and at every single moment, you just get pummeled. Like, there's no way that Ghostface, when he goes out and he just, like, is his, like, living his life, like, around the other people, that he's not bruised and cut up, because they are throwing major punches at him. Tatum is so stupid, she could have gotten through, her arm could have fit through, and she could have pulled herself out. And I just cannot believe that she did not pull out her arm and pull herself out. Cause that is, she fit, she fit through, babe. <laughs> You're a genius. I just don't feel like camcorders are holding in that much battery, babe. I don't think they are. I think you have to plug it into a source to have it stay on that long. For as long as it did to capture everything on camera, that that's a heavy duty battery, babe. I think it needs to be plugged into a source, like an outlet or something. Billy, I am the one who's been selfish and self-absorbed with all his post-traumatic stress. He is a master manipulator. He is actually insane. He literally manipulated her into feeling bad about being traumatized. And number three, never, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back, because you won't be. I love it, I love it. I love it that in every screen movie they explain the rules. I think it's a really good way to basically tell your audience what's gonna happen. One thing that I've been loving within horror movies in my transition into watching a lot more horror movies is the usage of the horror movie formula. So in this movie, we get to see it basically be super self-aware of its own formula and they use the formula to misdirect us into every other possible direction and I think that is a great usage of the formula and it's even greater because they fucking talk about it in the movie. I think Scream has a really good balance of self-awareness and comedy and actually some really good suspenseful scary parts. I think it's really good. Damn. This right here barely any stabs in the t-shirt and she's like oh my god he's dying babes there's just no there's no there's no stab there's no stabs big enough in the shirt to allude to that he would actually be dead the, the holes in the shirt are like this big the knife is like this this wide already and the holes are like this big this is the best scene ever just it's full of full of irony self-awareness i love it i love it i love it i love it oh they're so stupid they are so stupid right here if you're on a 30 second delay why would you look back at the fucking camera stupid this scene so freaking good the best scene ever i love it so much this like this is probably like it's gotta be like our top five moments of the movie because i love it so much because it is so perfect it is filled with just enough like irony and self-awareness of horror movies because it's so silly because everyone knows you watch a horror movie and you go they're right behind you turn around turn around and i love it that they included that and they made it a meta thing which is really 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 interesting but it is just the right 
amount of irony, goofiness, and cleverness wrapped up with suspic- like with that fear, that actual scariness to the scene that I fear for Randy. Like my butthole clenches for Randy in fear. Like I be clenching that butthole for him. In fear, not desire. Okay, so this is a really good scene. And why I'm saying that is because, okay, audience has already been, we've already got the Kenny scare. We've already gotten him dying as a scare. And that was great. I thought it was it was great visuals of the throw. And we get a little scare with Randy. It's a little bit of a jump scare, but not too much. He slides down on the windshield. And that is amazing. That adds such a good layer to the scale. It gives such a good extra scare. He can transport? I meant teleport oh my god he can transport he can take a motor vehicle he can transport himself he can walk from this destination to that destination babes <laughs> i meant to say teleport he's, he's gonna try and kill him. Ah! okay i knew he was right there we saw him right there why did i scream you're not scaring me mr o face no, I didn't. the way he just threw him this is her best line fuck you both that's a, that's a girl boss move right there that's a girl boss move fuck you both i don't trust any of y'all everyone has betrayed me no way in hell i'm trusting you two bitches Stu's flipped out he's gone mad we all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> no, Billy! Oh, fuck! Oh. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Brandy's like, motherfucker. Like, motherfucker, I called this from the fucking beginning. I knew it was your ass the entire time. And Sydney's over here like, I also knew. And they're both like, well, shit. I knew the whole time, and I got bit in the ass. Anthony, Anthony Perkins, Perkins psycho. psycho. Yeah, it's Psycho. <laughs> You're so original. You're such a little film geek. You love Psycho. <laughs> You're so funny. Surprise, Surprise Sydney. Sydney. The double reveal is probably the best reveal of all time. It's the best twist ever to have the double reveal. It's everything. It's everything. It's delicious. I want to eat it up with my hands. Nom, 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 nom. God, we'll never get away with this. <laughs> You have to pause. You have to pause on this shot because we've all seen this picture everywhere. We know it. We love it. We've literally like people probably have written fan fiction just off of this little screenshot right here. Why did they stand like that? Like you stand like that and it it can't help but go through my noggin if you guys have explored each other's bodies. Is that motive enough for you? Ah! I'm gonna eat my own fist. I will eat my own fist and you you'll watch me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Slut mother was fucking my father. Then go kill your father, son of a bitch. Like, literally go kill your father if you have such an issue with your mother leaving you, little mama's boy. Go suck a dick. Now you're no longer a virgin. Ah! Dead virgin. What? Now you gotta die. die. Those, Those rules. rules. I'm sorry, this shadow is like killing me. I hate to use this word. I hate to use this word. You know what I do. But the juxtaposition between... Billy and Stu is so scrumdiddlyumptious delicious. It is actually divine. It's actually decadent if you think about it. <laughs> it actually is. Because it's such a good juxtaposition between these two characters in this scene. Stu, crazy, eccentric, theatrical, out of control in that way where he's really loud and he's really obnoxious with what he's saying. You know, he's putting on a performance. He's It's almost like a similar vibe to the Joker. And I hate to say Joker, but it, it does. It, it gives a similar vibe to the Joker. And then you have Skeet's performance as Billy, which is a lot more calm. It's a lot more monotone and... It also shows that he has a little bit more out of control tendencies behind the motive and not really his in the moment behavior. I think a lot of the times when you get into duos that are killers together, it can give very knockoff Bonnie and Clyde vibes and it just doesn't really work well. It falls into a lot of cliches and it just seems flat and boring. And this right here, the two drastic sides of it is delicious. It's literally like, mm, I want to eat it all day. It's so good. He's sick for fucks. You've seen one too many movies. Nah, Sid! 
Don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos for creators. Time it, Billy. Would you all right? Take any more. I'm feeling woozy. I think I'm dying here, man. Fucking hit me with the phone, dick! If you knew that was an improvised line, Skeet actually hit him in the head with the phone. What Kiel seen the most about his death is that he could have just rolled over. Like that's the that's the that's the saddest thing about his death and the most pathetic thing about his death is that he could have just fucking rolled over to avoid the big ass TV coming to him. Got your sorry ass, little shit. Never have I wanted to bully someone so badly. Like again, like I said earlier, looks like he would love MGK. Probably is just like I bet MGK loves him. I never seen someone in a movie that I've wanted to bully so bad, and I've watched an Addison Rae movie. So, what what now? Hi, this, this is, is Gail, Gail Weathers, Weathers with an exclusive, exclusive eyewitness account of this amazing breaking story. Now that's what I call a girl boss. O almost just got fucking murdered. Still, still commits to the job. Still commits to doing the job she signed up for. You're so crazy, Cookie, for that. All I'm saying is that the horror genre is historical for excluding African-American elements. Well, how you get your PhD in black cinema, Sister Soldier? But, okay, the the most insulting thing about this scene that they include where she is talking about the standard horror tropes of black characters dying first, how she is talking about the issue with that, and how literally in the rest of the movies, they do cast black actors, but like, what is up Scream's ass that they they chose this? They 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 poke self awareness in this video and still don't go against that standard trope and issue within horror movies. <laughs> Probably one of Ghost's worst kills is in this movie because that is fucking scary. Like, ow, like I can feel it. It's almost like I can feel it. Also, how the fuck did it stab through that? Because I know in movie theaters, that's not like, that's not something you could just stab through, babe. It's not drywall. But also the whispers that the ghost face does in this movie are all foreshadows to who the killer actually is. Um, it was just clever. I think it's clever. I think it's very clever because I rewatched it and I realized that the, what they were saying in that scene in the bathroom was actually a hint to the killer. Hello. I think Sydney's Prescott could be gay. Of the movie itself. That is so moral majority. Oh my god. It's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And Daphne. Daphne and Scooby Doo. Daphne and Shaggy. Daphne and Shaggy in one cinematic universe. And, and Daphne and Shaggy. Shaggy. Daphne and Shaggy exist in two different completely cinematic universes together. And that's so sweet to me. Are you suggesting that someone's trying to make a real life sequel? Stab 2? I think we can all say that serial killers are pretty scary, but I don't think anything's more scary than walking into this class and having the conversation dominated by white film kids. That's got to be the scariest thing ever. This classroom is my nightmare. Imagine my videos being shown to white film kids. I would kill myself immediately. I would rather be sacrificed to Ghostface than have to deal with that. Dewey? It's Dewey! Dewey the cockroach, nothing ever gets our man! It's Dewey. Dude never fucking dies. I love that for him. Dewey fucking goes through the most. He gets like, he like almost dies in every single one. And not in the almost dies way where he's just being chased. Like, he has a fake death in every single movie where we think he's done for that closet babe the closet i'm scared i'm shaking in my boots babes uh hello ah! huh? i literally just watched this i literally just watched this 
the thing is, is that everything will always make me scream if I just pay attention. If I talk during it, I won't scream. But if I'm watching it, I will scream. Also, this is like a hand and it's bothering me. Who left their bike in the house? Who did that? This scene alone is enough for Sydney to believe that he is Ghostface. That's enough. That's enough evidence she needs. Yeah, number one suspect now, bitch. <laughs> Not at all helpful. Not at all helpful. Well, says under protection, right? Yeah. Is he making... What? He's literally making a ship. He... He's... Uh, I love Joel Thor this movie. I love him because... He's literally the only one taking this seriously. He's literally the only one trying to protect himself. Not even Sydney Prescott, the girl herself, the final girl herself. She's not even trying to protect herself. He seems a little shaky. Don't worry about him. He's not shaky. He's literally rightfully so terrified. And you know what he's doing? Vacating the premises. Not being on the premises of all the deaths. He's leaving. He's not gonna sit around near the van. He's gonna remove himself from the situation, which is healthy and setting boundaries. Good for him, good for Joel. He's the best character in the movie. Sweat rag and Billy Loomis, Billy Loomis, what the fuck? Jesus. What a rat looking, homo repressed mama's boy. Why not set your goals higher, huh? You wanna be one of the big boys? Manson, Bundy, OJ? Randy literally was so stupid. He decided, he literally walked into his own death. Like, it was literally so avoidable. He either could have stayed, I don't know, with the people he was with instead of walking off by himself. Like, first of all, they shouldn't have left him. Second of all, he shouldn't have walked away. He shouldn't have just been fine with being by himself. And just don't talk shit. Don't talk shit until you... Just don't talk your shit until you know you're safe. Don't talk shit until you know you're safe. She doesn't get it, Sydney. She doesn't see the story between you and me. She wouldn't see the story if it smacked her in the side of the head. I mean, have you read that book? <laughs> Which brings me to my point. This Ooh. is what the narration of Joe Goldberg from you is in his head. The narration of Joe's little thoughts. That's how he sounds. He sounds insane. That's how he sounds. Something's not right in here. What's not right? What's not? What is it? What is it? Because I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, but homicide is. Okay, then book me. <laughs> book me. Okay, look. <laughs> I don't know about homicide, but you've definitely got me for raising my voice in a public library. He reminds me, Joe. Okay, I know I just compared him to Ray. I know I just compared him to Joe, but let's talk about how he reminds me just of Chris Evans and Knives Out. Oh my God! Oh my god, I am literally Chris Evans right now in my chunky white sweater. Yeah, I killed Fran, but I guess I didn't. So what do you have? Nothing. What, attempted murder? I get arson for the building and a few other charges and with a good lawyer, which I have, I'll be out in no time. And then you will see just how much hell I can wreak on your life, you vicious little bitch. Guys. Not only am I a filmmaker now, but I'm also an actress. Book me at any at trendlevelbiz at gmail.com. You can book me. I am I am free to do any acting. See you. No, I like how she says, No, Dewey, don't. Just stands there, bitch. She just stands there. She goes, No, Dewey, don't. Dewey, stop. Don't do it. Dewey, don't do it. Seriously. Don't do it, Dewey. I think this is my favorite scene in the movie. Like, I don't really like Scream 2 all that much. I only like a few scenes from it. I do like this scene because it utilizes the soundproof padding on these walls, which makes it a lot easier. To, like, yeah, of course he's not going to hear her fucking steps because they're soundproofed. Like, even if he's on the other side, he's not going to be able to hear them. And she's not going to be able to hear him either. And I think that's a very clever touch. Yeah. I know Dewey is just like, so tired. He's been stabbed in the back already. In the first screen, he was stabbed in his back. Stabbed again in this fucking movie. Are you kidding me?
Ghostface is only fast in the moments that really do count when like someone looks away for like a split second. For a split second, if they look away, Ghostface is suddenly fast as a fucking speed of light, dude. But then when he's trying to chase someone to kill them, literally so slow. He's like a fucking snail running after them. Literally pathetic, embarrassing. Oh my god, it's literally so terrifying. It's so scary. I hate it. It's so much. It makes me like literally want to like poop or something. Sorry, I don't know what that was. I'm so sorry. It doesn't make me want to poop. It, it just makes my butthole clench. I don't know why she didn't just take off the mask because if you take off the mask, you can tell a lot fucking easier. You can tell a lot fucking better if Ghostface is gonna wake up. Right now, you have no indication of whether they're gonna wake up or not. You just have a mask. But at least if you see the face, you can also see the face. And guess what? You can see a lot better if they're gonna wake up. Boo! Gotta be one stupid fucking reveal. Surprise, stupid fucking Sydney. scream in this one. Like, literally stupid fucking ghost face in this one. Like, Since literally, it's, it's, it's boring. It's, it's, ass, it's, I don't even care own. about oh, Mickey at this point. He's not even a real character. Not, I hate him. Mother no, I am gonna fucking kill you! Fucking kill you! You are dead! Dead! I guess the only relevance to Mickey is that it kind of resembles, it kind of tricks her into thinking that it's the same thing that happened last time, and it kind of tricks the audience into thinking the same thing that happened last time, but I don't know. Mickey has a choice, it just doesn't really seem like the best one. What? Billy's mother! See, it's making me kind of cringe the performance that Mickey's putting on because it's so similar to Stu's and it's just not the same because I just watched Stu's and so I know it's not the same and it's, I wish they did something way completely different because I like the premise of Billy's mother coming into the second movie because it's kind of, you know. I was a good mother. You know what makes me I will say, I think Billy's mother scared me more than Billy himself because of her fucking eyes, dude. Damn, not only gotta deal with the mommy issues from the son, but then you gotta deal with actual mommy and her issues. <gasps> it's Wolverine's brother here to save the day. He's literally about to save the day. Invincible. Ghostface stupid. Ghostface was an like literally a loser this <laughs> He was literally Ghostface partners loser this this freaking movie. Losers this movie. Literally. Ghostface, why are you like that? So no. That's so embarrassing for you. <laughs> Bet you that Diane Sawyer interview's looking real good right about now. Consider it done. Consider it done. If there's one thing that Scream is gonna do, it's it's th that they're gonna give Cindy motherfucking Prescott a badass one-liner. You no, know, I was thinking maybe we could get the scoop like in the old days. See, this is why Joel's the best character. Yeah, not what? only protecting himself, but also coming back to get the job done. But not risking his life for the job because you don't get paid enough for that. One more day of shooting, guys. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. I feel good now that it's halfway done. The movies are really good. I really love them, but I just think Ghostface is such a stupid killer. It's just so, so funny, so goofy. It's just, I don't know, how could that guy be scary, you know? Has a surprise face on him all the time. I don't see how anybody could be that scared of him, but I still like the movies, and yeah. Um, uh, hold on, I'll call you back to the mom.